I want to take a moment to say I realize this lesson goes at a rapid fire pace and I zip right through it. Please know that I fully intend to break this lesson down into two or three slower paced videos in July as bonus tutorials. Welcome to the Canva classroom, everybody. If you're new here, Canva tutorials by Like It or Not teaches you how to use Canva for free with weekly lessons. If you aren't familiar with Canva, that's okay. Every expert was once a beginner. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again for a new lesson. This week's tutorial will focus on using Canva for YouTube videos in green screen. The bonus tips will include how to use this effect in two different free open source editing programs. One is called OpenShot and the other is Shotcut. Let's open up a 1920 by 1080 canvas since we are doing this for YouTube content creators, but this technique can be applied for other videos, including TikTok, IGTVs, and even YouTube Shorts. I frequently create captions for my YouTube videos. Start off with a plain background. If you know what color number your editing program automatically erases when you apply the green screen effect, it makes your life much easier. I will create a rectangle with my keyboard shortcut R and place it where I think it looks best. There are a few tricks and tips in terms of placements, and even ways to make your captions stand out more. Comment below if you think this is something you would like to learn more about in a future lesson. I'm changing the color of the rectangle for my brand style for this example. The keyboard shortcut for text is typing the letter T. Everyone has their own style but since many people are viewing videos on a mobile device, it's best to choose a block style font. I'm using Norwester for this example, but there are plenty options in addition to that. You will want to download this file and know where your downloaded files go. We will use this caption in both OpenShot and Shotcut later on in this tutorial to show you how to apply the effect in both programs. Remember to check out the video description for the timestamps below so you can watch and rewatch the segments you need. Let's create one more green screen effect by adding a video to a frame. In this example, I'm going to share with you how to use free things that are available in Canva, but you can use your own video files by uploading them here. Check out the help section by typing in upload formats and requirements to find out what the restrictions are for Canva free, as well as whether there are any other limitations. Let's get started with another black background for this example. Let's go to the Elements tab on the left panel and type in Frame. Find the frame that you would like to use for your picture-in-picture -picture video. I'm going to choose a circle frame, but Canva has such a variety of options for you to use. In order to keep the frame away from the timeline and the info card from sticking out into it, I'm going to put this frame on the upper left hand corner. You can actually use guides and rulers to help you with the location of this green screen effect. To learn more about that, be sure to check out the info card. Let's add a video from the elements tab. 
A good reason for using the style green screen is for reaction videos as well as tutorials. The reason I don't use this green screen effect in my tutorials is I don't currently have a webcam to be able to do that style of lesson. Otherwise, I'd show how to use the record yourself function and apply that. How about we do a 500 subscriber challenge? When this channel reaches 500 students, I will go out of my comfort zone and put up a webcam on the computer so I can test out this feature for all of you. To keep this simple, I'm not going to make any adjustments to the video in the frame. I'm just going to set it in place. To ensure that it's in the right spot, I am going to add a second video as the background. That looks like it would be in just the right placement. Let's remove the background and get rid of it so we can chroma key this effect into our editing program. Download this as an MP4 and make sure to only download the page you need. It's time to talk editing software. Let's leave our Canva classroom for our bonus segment. Everyone edits through different means and some of you might be using iMovie, DaVinci Resolve, or loads of other programs that there are to use. Pro tip, if you search green screen effect and your program, you will likely find a great tutorial on how to apply your image or video file with a green screen effect in your exact programming. I use a PC and am currently running Windows 10. OpenShot is a free open source video editor for Linux, Mac, and Windows. You can download this program for free by going to openshot.org and be sure to follow the directions on the website. Let's have a peek at OpenShot and try to add our green screen caption along with the chroma key video using the chroma key function. My three files are already inserted into OpenShot, but if they weren't, I would click the plus button, find the files I needed to bring them into the program. I will drag them onto the track that I need them on. One reason why I prefer OpenShot to Shotcut is that currently Shotcut needs a user to add tracks prior to adding a file to it. OpenShot already has five tracks there for you to use. However, Shotcut's chroma key function is far superior to OpenShot at this time. Let's drag the chroma key filter onto the image. This one will look fine without any extra manipulations because it is in black and OpenShot's default is black. Let's drag down our video now. This is where things get tricky. The green screen effect won't be crystal clear here. We shall see whether the effect looks better in Shotcut shortly. Keep in mind you will want to adjust things like positioning and other transitional items. Positioning is another thing that I prefer in OpenShot. For now, we're going to keep it simple and just move the position into place and export it. You hit everything, didn't you? Maybe. <laughs> I, I, I know how you Wait. are. There's a drawer somewhere here filled with junk. Okay, go ahead. Where's, where's the stuff that's being hid? Now, let's try these same files in Shotcut. Before we do, I want to remind you that turning the notification bell on informs you when Canva tutorials by like it or not uploads new content. Be well informed by turning on all of the reminders. Notifications are a subscription benefit, so double check your subscription status.
Shotcut is a free open source cross-platform video editor. Shotcut.org is your go-to place for downloading this program. The videos created in June 2021 were all created through Shotcut, minus the small segment that you just saw exported via OpenShot for the two green screen effects. Okay, we are in Shotcut and I'm going to pull down this image. You remember this image? Go to go to filters plus and you type in chroma key. You have to type in chroma key. If you type in green screen, it's not going to come up. Chroma key is the one for Shotcut. And there's two ones. They're simple, which is really simple. Let's just do this. Key color. It probably pulled up a screen that you can't see, but I'm going to pick a screen color. I'm going to choose this black and then click OK. And there it is. I mentioned in the other one that moving it is a little difficult. You have to do size position and rotate and then move it which is fairly easy. And here's where it gets a little more tricky. With animated things and with things in general that have skinny edges or that don't have defined edges, then things might look a little funny. I'm doing a whole bunch of shortcut stuff here. I'm, I'm shrinking files down. I'm pulling them down. Let's see, here's one. Let's go over, hover over this file and I'm going to click it so that it's red. Plus, nope, didn't mean to do that. Filters. Plus, I clicked key color. I'm clicking pick screen color. I'm going to screen color, clicking OK. And you will notice that half of her face is gone. Look because the black color in the image was so close that it just, it got rid of it. And so let's see if we get rid of the distance or we lower the distance, whether we can get it. Now, that's not bad. However, there's some fuzzy edges around it, but green screen effects, not perfect. Other free programs or other programs you pay for, the green screen effect might be better, but you can use different frames in these programs to help yourself out. Let me jump to this one. My edges on the white one are much better than the edges here on the circle ones. So you might want to consider that when you're doing a picture in picture, what looks best. Do a couple tests and see, don't waste all your time getting your image perfect and then it not show up. The key takeaway is that sometimes a white border will help your look. And that's why a lot of my green screen effects, I have a white border. It's to help my program. You know how sad this is? What? <laughs> your OCT. Did I, did I did not hide anything in the drawer? That's, I saw you start to open up a different one. I, I know how you Wait. are. There's a drawer somewhere here filled with junk. Okay, go ahead. Before we say goodbye, I want to give you one last tip. If you are creating a lot of these green screen effects, a new feature that Canva has recently unloaded, at least in the web browser version, is that there's an option to save download settings. So you can save the type. In this case, it would be PNG. You can save the page number, seven. Let me undo 10 and then click done. Then you can write whatever you need to do. I'm not gonna click download because I've downloaded. Now you can change this to, he was shocked. Make it larger whatever to fit in the space. And then when you go to download, 
your settings are still there. It is so much faster, so much faster. We have a very special video coming out this week, 45 tools in Canva that you need to know about to celebrate the 45 new students in our classroom that joined in June. We're talking elements, text animations, templates, and more. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below because it might just inspire new content like this one. Please share our Canva classroom with your YouTube friends so we can grow our class. Take a look around the channel to find more videos like this one and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.